Hey guys, welcome back to Fibers in the Wind, or welcome to my channel. If you're new, and in today's video, we're going to be continuing a series where I share my thoughts and opinions and essentially do a review on products I've gotten from Timu. This is actually a free product I got from Timu, and I didn't have to pay shipping, nor taxes, nothing, totally, 100% completely free, and it is this skein of yarn. This is what it looks like if you want to find it on their website. I'm going to start off by telling you things I didn't like. The first thing I didn't like about the yarn is that it is supposed to be a brighter yellow in person. That's what I expected to get, and in the listing, that's what it showed. But it's actually a more orangey yellow, and it's actually a more yellow on camera than it is in real life as well. The second con that I didn't like is they're a little bit small. They're a little bit small, but you at least get three skeins. Another thing that I don't like is it doesn't have a knitting needle or crochet hook recommendation on the yarn. And it doesn't say like what size the yarn is. It doesn't say if it's a four ply worsted weight. It doesn't even say how big the skein of yarn itself even is. It does however show you on here the care instructions. And then down here as well it does say that it is 80% acrylic and 20% rayon. So it does at least say those things. So let me get into the pros of this yarn. So it's very squishy and soft and it's very nice feeling in the hands. It actually has a nice center pull, a pretty long one if you ask me. So it's easy to find and I've already started using it and I can assure you that the center pull works really well. So I really enjoy the center pull. I think it works really well and the yarn is very soft and it glides smoothly through the hands and through the fingers. It feels really nice. And the yarn has pretty good stretch to it as well. I really enjoy that. So I'm going to show you a project that I'm working on with it. I won't tell you what it is. You'll have to stay tuned for an upcoming video. And for now, you'll just have to comment your guesses what you think that it is. But I just want to show you exactly what it looks like worked up in crochet stitches. So this is what it looks like. I'm just trying to give you a really close look. And it's very got good stretch. It holds its shape very well. It's very soft. I also like I'm not seeing a whole lot of pilling thus far. And to my surprise, no splitting or fraying whatsoever throughout the process of this project. This yarn is, dare I say, better than Dollar Tree yarn. Not that Dollar Tree yarn's bad, but it's also better than a lot of yarns I've purchased at Walmart. This yarn actually gets an A plus for me. It's a great yarn, it's soft, it's durable. It seems to so far hold up very well. I don't know how it washes. It says you're not allowed to machine wash it, but I think I'm gonna test that because it um, is acrylic and rayon. And as far as I know, you can wash those. So I'll test that like in a later video. But, oh, and I also sat back further. Um, I really like this yarn. I think it's very nice. I think it's pretty high quality. And not just for a product that you get on Timu, but I actually really enjoy the quality of this yarn. And I would actually buy this again and pay money for it. And actually, I probably will. Because it's just really nice, and I'm shocked at how nice that this yarn is. It's just really nice to hold. And it's just such a beautiful yarn, and I really enjoy it. And it works up very nicely. It's easy to work with. And it's just so nice in the hands. I wish you guys could feel it. It's just like so soft. It's not scratchy or itchy at all. And I'm going to really have fun with this yarn and make this project. And it's just going to work really, it's going to work up beautifully. The stitch that I chose is really fun. And all in all, I really love this yarn. So do I recommend you buy it? 
10 out of 10. Would definitely recommend you buy this yarn. Would not think that I'd be saying that, but I am. And I do think you should get this yarn. It's definitely worth it. They are smaller, again, but you do get three skeins. You saw the one that I'm working with now, so. But I still have two full ones. So I I think that Timu for the win on this one, again, Timu for the win. So Timu has two points so far. So go Timu. So um, I definitely think this is a great yarn. Again, no fraying, no splitting. When you start working on a project, holds together really well and feels really good in the hands. So I will be buying this yarn. I actually will at some point because it's a great yarn. I'm going to try to get a few other color options, I feel like, because I want to see if they're more accurate according to the listing or if it was just this one. And also the yarn's just great. So if you can deal with the few cons that there are with this product, I highly recommend it and I think you should go for it. So anyways, that's my thoughts and opinions on this yarn this far. And I'm really glad you clicked on the video and decided to watch it. So thank you for watching my new Timu series. And yeah, I really hope to catch you guys in my next video. Stay tuned for an upcoming video relatively soon where I share projects that I've completed recently and just kind of shown you what I've been working on in terms of crochet projects. So stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for some upcoming Timu product reviews later on because I hope to be able to continue this series. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.